Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can display only selected color images in your Shopify product page. So this video is specific for impulse theme of the Shopify. So if you have any other theme, then I have already created a playlist. So you can uh, find out like which version, like which theme you are using. And if you don't find, then you can contact me. I will create a video or maybe help you out in solving this problem. So right here, you can see that uh, on this product page, if I am uh, clicking on black, so the black image is displaying, but in the left hand side, we have all the other colors displaying and uh, what exactly we want is that once we are clicking on any of the color swatch then it should only display that specific color in the left hand side and all the other colors should be hided so let's move ahead step by step so first of all you should go to the dashboard of the store and here you can see that i have installed impulse theme so you should take the backup of it so you should click on these three dots click on duplicate and then uh, in that way if you have any problem in the future so you can roll it back to its original version so now the first step is that you should go to the products and update the alt text of each uh, product so for example i have this uh, uh, product uh, maybe any uh, yeah this product for example so right here you can see that I have uh, color variants uh, like black ice blue white lagging and accordingly I have uploaded all those images here but before that here you can see that we have all the gallery so if you are clicking on any of the product image then on the right hand side you will see all text so inside of it if something is like this like it is empty so uh, for example in your case it will be empty so what you will be doing you should go back here click on color and uh, which color is this ice blue so you should copy this complete uh, color from here and then click here again and paste that color name okay and then save the changes so similarly you should move uh, the images from here click on this arrow and again you should paste the same color again you have to paste the same color so similarly if you have any other color for example this is this one is a black one so you should put the black color but make sure that uh, spelling should be the exactly same one which you have added in these color variants so for example black has the b capital so make sure that you are putting the uh, capital b over the images also so similarly we have ice blue so in uh, for the ice blue you have to uh, mention the same uh, thing uh, one more thing is like uh, for example i have a white lagging so let me see uh, what it looks now so for example i am clicking here and right here you can see that this is the image and right now we have white but we have added the uh, color name white lagging so you should paste white lagging here and then save the changes similarly move ahead and here you need to update with white lagging save the changes then again here you should update white lagging save it and then finally we have this one and save the changes so similarly for other products you should do the similar thing and once you are done with this then we are actually moving ahead with the coding part so coding is quite simple you just need to follow the steps along with this video and you can implement it to yourself so click on these three dots and click on edit code here we have some folders and files so what exactly we are going to do here is we are going to find a new snippet which is uh, product dash images product dash images so here we go now we have product dash images dot liquid and inside of it we need to find a line of code which is uh, having class name product underscore underscore thumb uh, underscore I, uh, dash item so once you are finding this line so you should press enter key uh, product underscore underscore thumb uh, dash item and here we have that div element okay so inside of this div element actually this div is uh, starting from uh, here and uh, the closing bracket is right here so just uh, on the left you should press enter key and then inside of it we need to paste uh, some lines of code which are like uh, we need to create a condition actually so the condition is like if uh, we have product dot selected our uh, first available variant dot featured media 
dot alt so actually we are comparing the alt text here is not equal to uh, for example media dot alt and we also need another condition which is product dot selected or first available variant uh, yeah th this is the similar one dot featured media dot alt is not equal to blank so if that is the condition then we have to uh, write here style equals to uh, double quotes and here we need to write yeah wait a minute here we need to write display here we need to write display none and we need to close the condition which is using and if once it is done then after in the below line you need to write here one uh, attribute thumbnail dash alt equals to uh, inside the single quote you need to mention media dot alt so these are the three lines which you need to four lines you need to add it here and then click save once the changes are saved then you need to find another uh, file which is theme.js so here we have theme.js inside of it we need to find a function which is uh, update variant image function <laughs> So once you are pressing the enter key, you will find this definition update variant image <laughs> update variant image function. All right. So this function is starting from here and ending at this line of code. So just before this function ending, you need to paste uh, some lines of code, which are like uh, you need to create a condition actually here. So the condition is if variant dot featured underscore media and variant dot featured underscore media dot alt if both are true then we are going to put the condition something like document dot query selector all and inside of it we need to write the attribute name which we have uh, already defined so the attribute will be thumbnail dash alt and then we need to write here dot for each img equals to we have to write here function img dot style dot display equals to display equals to none so this is the first uh, um, uh, first thing then you have to define one more variable which is uh, finding the current variant uh, alt so current image alt equals to variant dot featured underscore media dot alt and then another variable will be thumbnail selector equals to we need to write here back tick back tick is uh, in the left corner you will have the um, uh, keyboard key so this is the back tick so inside of it we are going to uh, put the um, uh, thumbnail uh, th put the variable value also thumbnail dash alt equals to A single quote and then dollar and we are going to define a uh, variable here so that is like current image alt yes right so that is the variable then after we have another uh, document selector all so that is theme selector actually so what exactly we are going to do here uh, document dot query selector all and inside of it we are going to write here thumbnail selector 
then dot for each and again sam like we are putting an arrow function img dot style dot display equals to block and then after we have an else condition so here we have the else condition so inside of this else condition we again need to uh, put this line of code i mean exactly the same one so, uh, sorry and this is not actually this is the one we need to copy and uh, sorry paste it right here i mean this line and this line is same only thing is that here it is none and here you need to put block so actually the logic is that we are making all the uh, thumbnail alt uh, uh, all the images uh, to hide and then only those images which has selected uh, all text matching so that only we are displaying so if we don't have this condition then it automatically displays all all the time so let's save the changes and let's see the preview now so this is how it was looking so let me refresh it back and now you can see that only uh, the black color is displaying if i am selecting the ice blue so only ice blue color is displaying if i am selecting the white legging so you can see that only white legging is displaying so that's how you can actually implement it into your stores if you are facing any issue then you can ask me i will definitely help you out in that so this is quite simple and uh, you need to follow all the steps uh, which i have actually mentioned in this video so you can uh, if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video and if you have any new feature to develop then you can contact me i have already given the contact details below in the description so you can mention me like what exactly you need and i will help you out in solving that problem you can follow me on uh, tiktok instagram and facebook you can also join the whatsapp group so if you are having any question you can comment me in the comment section also so thank you so much once again see you in the next video